Hey everyone, this is Lars. Uh, just an update on what I'm doing with the reading ruler experiments. So uh, mostly working on uh, UX uh, stuff, thinking about how to uh, uh, best uh, display the ruler and what other stuff I can come up with to make uh, focusing on individual text chunks easier. So um, I've mapped the reading ruler feature to the Alt U key. Uh, when I uh, turn on the reading ruler, so to speak, I also switch to a single page renderer because it makes it much easier, I think, to read with a reading ruler if you only have one page at a time. I also increase the, uh, the text, uh, the line spacing a bit for the text. Um, and what I've done now is that you can still uh, drag and drop this and it will snap to um, individual lines just as before. But you can also actually click on uh, the ruler to go to the previous and the next line. So if you click on the left side, it goes to the previous lines. And if you click on the right side, it goes to the next line, which is kind of neat. Also added a neat feature uh, where you can hide uh, the rest of the page content or obscure it. You can also change the, uh, the color. I might also add a color picker here so you can decide for yourselves which color to use. But this is what it looks like when you hide the page content. So it's more obscuring the, the page content because I just uh, use an overlay and I um, make a clip mask so that the uh, actual content shines through a bit under the ruler. Uh, I think this is really nice. Uh, this is absolutely the way I would like to read uh, if I were reading uh, a, a text and I was try tired and had a hard time concentrating. So, yeah, kind of fond of this, actually. I think it works really well. I can't wait to show you. This is going to go public in, uh, in time for Frankfurt. Um, so, yeah. Hope you like it, and uh, please feel free to co to uh, to give me comments if you have ideas on how to uh, improve it. Ciao for now.